Hey everybody, it's Jordan here. Welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Green Game Time Swapper on the Nintendo Switch. If there's one thing that grabs you about Green Game Time Swapper, it's the price. Pushing for the title of cheapest game on the eShop, this cup of coffee's worth of game may have caught your attention. Is it worth passing up a latte at your coffee shop of choice? Well, let's find out. First and foremost, it must be stated that Green Game Time Swapper is portable mode only. There is no docked gameplay at all. If you try to play in docked mode, all you'll get is a bit of funky music playing and a short message telling you to pull it out and play. As a former mobile game, this is fair enough. With such an odd title, it seems to be part of a series with this being the green entry, and it does seem a little at odds since at the time of writing there are no other games in the series out on the Switch. I'd bet my mortgage on them coming though. Saying that, did they really need the 4 title? I think Time Swapper would have sufficed. But now we're just nitpicking. Is it a good game? Well, not really. The premise of the gameplay is simple. You guide a weird bird thingy through 50 levels using the power of time. You change the time by swiping your finger horizontally on the touchscreen and you can see whereabouts your time is by a ray of light that sways from one side of the screen to the other. Changing time will affect things in the stage as you'd imagine. The beginning levels act as a rather confusing tutorial where you can manipulate steam shoots on or off which help direct your bird. Then you have rotating steam shoots, which are exactly what they say on the tin. And then you have the walls which can be fixed or destroyed depending on which time that you're set at. These are the basic things that you'll be facing in the first 10 levels or so, and it rarely gets more complicated than that. The problem is that it doesn't really feel like you're playing with time or anything. The concept of time is barely here. How does turning time forward or backwards affect which direction something is facing, or when a pipe is blowing steam or not? Yes, the broken walls do offer some glimpse of inspiration for the tricky subject, but most just seem like you're pulling a lever rather than changing time. The concept is just not well thought out. If you can get past that though, the gameplay itself is alright is slightly banal. Especially early on, as you guide your little bird friend through the hazards and stuff, you can pick up gears as an extra collectible, 3 per stage. I never found any real urge to go out of my way to collect them aside from if I wanted a little extra challenge because you really do need to go out of your way to get them and follow a more dangerous path if you want them all. Sometimes I'm okay with stuff like this, but usually only in games where controls are tight and precise, so I can actually test my skills with them. Sadly, the controls in Time Swapper are anything but precise. Oddly, I found the swiping controls to be really unintuitive. Swiping them makes them jerk to an extreme degree, and holding either side of the screen makes the movement slower, but the direction is completely off. Holding it down on the left side can make it go left or right, vice versa holding it on the right. It seems completely random at which way it wants to go, I found it quite bizarre in fact. There are a few power ups such as slowing down time which are strategically placed for you already, which rarely add anything to the game. It would have been better if the power ups could be collected and used at a later time at the player's choosing. I think segregating it to the handle only is a missed opportunity. I really think that due to the nature of the gameplay, they could have easily taken advantage of some of the Switch's gimmicks. I don't understand why they couldn't use gyro controls to simulate moving time left and right, for example. I think that could have been much more compelling as a gameplay prospect. It would beat swiping your finger on a screen any day. It's not the most positive review, I know, but it's just not a compelling game for me personally. One thing that I really did love about Time Swapper though was the music, which is an excellent soul jazz vibe that is totally out of place, but fantastic nonetheless. The graphics are fairly standard too, with classic silhouetted foreground against a highly contrasting coloured background, in this case a very strong green, which reminded me of playing Bulb Boy. Overall, I know it's an overly harsh review for such a cheap game, but the fact is, I just did not find it compelling to play at all. In that regard, the price doesn't matter if it's £40 or £2. If it's not good, it's not good. It's slightly frustrating, slightly boring, and the only truly good thing about it is the amazing music. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed this review, then be sure to like and subscribe, that will help me out so much. You can read the full review of Green Game, Time Swapper, whataboutthegame.com, and you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want to. All the links are below. Thanks guys, bye bye.